Here it's a more complex picture that has caused the cost of living crisis and have no doubt there will be a humanitarian cost of living crisis that will take place on our shores that will affect ordinary working people. Things are going to get really, really tough. Uh, and it's not just because of sanctions, it's because of Brexit, mm -hmm. it's because of the marketisation of our economy, it's because we have an economy that needs to be fundamentally changed because income, wealth and power have been getting shifted away from working people and the wealth gap is growing and too much power rests with those at the top. The billionaires, the top 1% have doubled their income in the past two years while the rest of our income and standards of living have gone down so over the past two decades. So what should governments be doing about that, Rose? How do governments well, react governments, to that? Governments should be investing in public services. We should be taking back control of essential services like energy, like care, like transport. People shouldn't be allowed to make profits out of essential services. So nationalisation Nationalisation is, is part of the answer. We need to fundamentally rethink our economy. And we also need people to collectivise, join unions, and through collective bargaining, fight for decent pay rises.